The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. 11-year-old Ray Ann Mosley is one of the reasons lawmakers approved low THC marijuana for children with seizures. After the Department of Health failed to follow the law, a judge threw out a proposed rule. Now Ray Ann's mother is one of 12 negotiators working long hours to get a rule in place. She's had a, a rough January, um, but she's hanging in there. She's strong. She's a fighter. So. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep going and looking forward to the day that Rayan gets to try Charlotte's Web in Florida. How exciting will that be? I've been told to pick the best, cheapest, fastest, right? Also it negotiating like are a handful of growers who may apply for licenses. One of them is John Tipton of Ruskin versus. Farms. I think this is the way that it probably should have happened a long time ago. Um, you know, I think we would have been much further along had this happened earlier. On its first day, the group agreed to allowing each of the five licensed growers to have retail stores across the state. Lobbyists say that will benefit consumers. That is the most important component that was always missing. That means that each nursery applicant will be able to establish a delivery system which may include storefronts. Wednesday will be a 14-hour day for negotiators and they'll come back Thursday morning at 8 a.m. and work until they're done. If there are no legal challenges to the final license awards, the first legal medical marijuana should arrive in early summer. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.